Alrighty. Um, I am Will. Well, welcome to my art, to Will's Arteria. Uh, I'm a Boy Scout from Troop 18 in Stephenville. Don't look at yourself. <laughs> just, just talk. Don't, don't look at yourself. Just talk. Um, uh, I, I like to draw. Uh, um, uh, I, I'm in shooting sports. Um, I, I'm in the Stephenville 4-H shooting sports and I like to I enjoy cooking, fishing, sewing, and cycling and this is my first Ustream and I want to share art art with you. Tonight I'll be talking about drawing with pencils. Amanda wants to know what you like to draw. Cars. I like to draw cars and Miscellaneous, basically. You like to draw animals. All your stuff is right there. Oh. Amanda, this is what I drew a, a while back. So, I draw miscellaneous, I like, uh, I draw animals, one time I drew a pineapple because I had nothing else to draw and it's something I saw, so I just drew it. What else do you like to draw? I like to draw cars. Cars, trucks, trains. Dad, did you eat my jello pudding? No. Pudding cake. I'm sorry. You don't look sorry. Hang on. You're right, I'm not. Get your pudding face on. Hang on! Hey everyone, did you... Okay, there we go. Uh... It was, we get ads too sometimes. There we go. We're good. Yeah. Alright. Who's Caleb W. Martin? That's Sigrid. Okay. Sigrid's in there three times. Uh, uh, and we have three other guests. We have Amanda, Dawn, Grammy, and Sandy. Say welcome to everybody. Welcome everybody. Uh, I'm glad you came. I'm glad you came. Say thank you. Thank you. What is? Come on. Uh, what do you want to talk about? You want to get started? Uh. You want to talk about the supplies you need to draw with pencils? Uh, here's... Go Sam, go on. Go on. Go. On. go. go. Yes, go help Daddy. Daddy wants you. Uh... We need to talk about the supplies. Okay. Uh, I I learned that if uh, that it depends on your line to keep your pencil sharp. So I learned to always carry a pencil sharpener in my little red in my little orange box. It came with one of my drawing kits that I had that I'm working on. Uh and 
here are my little pencils that came with a drawing that I'm about to show you. Uh, And, uh, I will show you the drawing that I did with these later. Uh, oh, it's There's, uh, the six different types in these two kits, all the three kits that Grammy bought me. Uh, there's, uh, 6B, 3H, 5B, HB, 2B, and H. Well, the, uh, Bs are, are softer than the Hs. And they range from 9H to 9B. 9B is an ultra soft uh, pencil or a lead. Here's as soft as I can get them right now, which is my 6B. <laughs> that's as uh, dark as they'll get but uh in um, my small kits right now Don wants to know if the higher the number the softer uh, when you're in the B uh, yes Don uh, the higher number you have in the B's like you have 6B and 7B and 8B and 9B. 9B is as soft as they go. And 9H is as hard as they go. What's a normal pencil like an overkick pencil? Uh. Mm -hmm. I've got a number two pencil right here. Okay. A number two pencil. Well, these are HBs. See, it says number two HB. So this is... That's your average writing pencil, so... Where are you going? I'm trying to <laughs> find the darn camera. That's what I'm trying to do. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. That's at your average writing pencil. I have no idea what two HB means, but no, it's a number two. It's a it's HB. it's a number two and it's HB. Which it says here it's soft. I don't know, but I draw with these all the time. So it doesn't it uh my my needable eraser is right here. It's like big water molding clay because um uh, yeah mark right uh, we'll turn this down we'll turn this down where they can see here you go. my uh this mark right here I will <laughs> Amanda says Booga ate her needable eraser. I got a spare one, Amanda, if I need to send you it.
It does not look like food, Mama. It could look like food to food, yeah. Uh, say, this, uh, Wally Racing, I got a gr gray blotch on there, and so, I'll just, there so they can see what you're doing. I'll just fold it. And now that gray spot is gone. And that's what's handy about it. And I have my your everyday white eraser. Uh, I, it it erases really well too. This one's better than a pencil or your regular pencil eraser is what I learned. And too bad it's not like oh it sometimes it's not like a needed eraser, but I wish it were because uh it it's really really good. And oh my uh this is uh sandpaper sandpaper waiting auto adjust just a second guys wait a minute Okay. Let me try to fix it now. Yeah. Okay. Hang on. Auto adjust is helping out. There we go. Wait. Went further away. Zoom in. There it goes. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Alrighty. This. This is my, uh, this is my mom's sandpaper, and, can you sharpen? Uh, it's mine too. Can you sharpen pencils with it? Uh -huh, you can sharpen pencils with it. And... Here's, uh, one of my dollar little pencils. Here's one of my dollar pencils. They used to be like this. Where it, it had a sharper tip, and I'm just gonna. It basically all you do is just uh, rub on here in several different directions, and it should sharpen up in a couple. Huh? No, it's it's sharp. Mm, no, uh, but you can continuously do this, and eventually it'll sharpen. It, it see there now it's uh. Oh, it's sharper than it was. That's for sure. And this is my stump. It's uh that mark on the uh, paper that I showed you. Okay. Uh, I'll use it with a normal pencil. Uh, all right. Alright, uh, hang on. I'm on a focus. Goodness gracious. Um, focus. 
Okay. Hang on. Put something close up like I did last time. Alright, there's my, uh, my mark. Where'd my stump? Oh, there's my stump. And here's my stump. Really? Really? Hang on. Sorry, cameras don't like white. Really? Really, really. Put it down well. Put it on the paper. Put something down. Hold it there. Sorry, guys. The white of the paper is making the camera go wonky. Yeah. I'll do that I did last time. There we go. You're fine now. Maybe. Mom, it's focused. I'm just moving it up. I know, I was trying to move it where you are. Focus! Put the black on there. Oh, the 60? Oh, I'm making my line to use my stump. And uh, my stump will just basically just take some of that color and bring it out a little more. If it'll ever focus, you'll see what I'm doing. See where it brings it out? No, because it's still out of focus. You can see it. It's a darker spot on the white paper. Hang on, guys. Hang on. I got it. Well, making it focus up close is not helping it focus out back. You know, just a minute. There it goes. Oh, there it goes. Alrighty. Here's where I uh, brought it brought it out with the. Uh, Here's what I was doing. I was just using a circular motion to bring out the uh, color a little further. Uh, it, it, it brings it out quite well. Stumps it up a bit. Eventually, it'll even out. The colors will even out. There's a lighter gray, and then there's the darker gray. But you can also uh, clear. Can't you clean color off of this with the stump? Absolutely. And you can clean this like the way it is with the uh, sandpaper. And it'll uh, keep it throughout your body. I'm just rubbing it on here, and it eventually it will turn white again. Like, see here, now it's lighter. I'm just
Anyways, it'll turn white again, that black streak there. There, it's gone. That black that was on there is now gone. Oh, I I found out while reading some information that in a pencil in the pencil's lead it's not a just graphite. And the reason they changed it to graphite was because lead was poisonous. Uh, but uh it's graphite and clay. So uh, why do you want to keep the pencil sharp? The reason you want to the reason you want to keep your pencil sharp is because it's so because your dollar points I have this from personal experience make a uh, wider line than you might want so warning that if you are going to draw make sure all your pencils are sharp it's unless you're trying to cover a big area make sure your pencils are sharp what about the thickness of the line? Uh, well Alright, with this, uh, no, it's soft, uh, here is, like, your normal writing pencil, I need to sharpen it. Yes, Sandy, we are recording. Alright, here is, what, what is? Uh, I'm using the HB, and it when you draw it, it this is my normal uh, drawing line that I would use. But if I'm trying to shade something, I'll I'll uh, push harder, and so that'll make the line a whole lot darker. But uh. And if I'm trying to really lightly do some detail, some fine details, I'll just, uh, do, just draw, barely touch it. And those are my three different styles that I like to draw, to draw with. So your or my weights. Ask them if they need to see it closer. Y'all need to see it a little closer? Anyone? I need to see it. Okay. Okay. All right. Alrighty. Um. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Okay. Uh. Okay. Okay. Uh. A simple uh scale. Uh. Uh. Your your simple scale would be uh. Every one inch, so I, I'm gonna draw a, a scale, a four stage scale. Four. A scale is where it uh, shows the uh, different uh, shades. What I'm doing is I'm going to show you different shades of uh, of a pencil and dark uh, from dark to light.
Alrighty, yeah. Uh, or one of my software pimps just be. Uh. Uh. Oh, yeah. Here is my softest pencil that, that'll, that'll, surely, it, 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 it puts out more color than I would normally put out, but, uh, this one will make a good dark area, uh, I'll show you in a drawing that I did last night, that I finished last night. Um, here, uh, but, these are, let's see, I'm just going out the back door. Uh, let's see. Back. Um. Here's a uh, 4B, which is softer, and as you can tell, it's already lighter than the 6B is, and, uh, there's that, and then, uh, I skipped 5B for some odd reason. I didn't remember it, but here's a uh, a 2B, and then I'll show you just a straight on H lead pencil, or not lead, but graphite. H. Huh? Fine. Uh, the, uh, there's that, and then here's my just straight at, straight on H pencil. It, 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 it's good for smaller details, as I've done on one of my uh, pictures. I will I will show later. It's just it's all in the same picture. I've shown uh, a couple a couple of techniques, but there's a uh, scale. Single position doing great. You're Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and uh, here is the picture that I had done. Uh, here, it it was a uh, kit. That's where I got the little pencils from. Uh, a line, uh, a line drawing. It's like a light. It it's like your sketch, only it, it doesn't. You you're not drawing the picture. You're just adding the details and stuff. Yeah. Uh, learning how to shade and so on and so forth. Uh, but uh, yeah, I use my pencils, but uh, uh, where they go? Where they go? With the little bitty fish. Yeah, uh, the little fish up here, uh, these ones, I had to use the H to get some of the lines up that are behind them, if it'll 
focus again. But uh, on these bigger ones, you can see those. Those lines are H, HB actually. Those ones, but the little ones are H, H size. Like, okay. Is that zing too much? Uh, too much. I believe. Yeah, too much. Okay. Yeah, can you talk about Alrighty, see here on these little fish? Um, uh, I had these little lines behind them, as it had instructed me on the kit, but, uh, I have the little lines for, uh, to show that the, like, to improvise as look lo looking a little like bubbles. Don't know how they look like bubbles, but some, somehow it's supposed to show that, that they're swimming. Um. I'm not sure how the kits come. Just a minute. Here's one that I that I was working on. This is how they look at beginning, but not here, but like here over here on this. Uh, this is how they'll look, and then here I'm working like uh, here. I shaded here in here, but. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just starting on this one, I'm gonna finish it one day, eventually, uh, but uh, it will get finished, yes, don't know when, that, 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 that's how we learn how to shape, it's, the ba this one's gonna be harder, because, this, uh, well, this picture is what it's supposed to look like, and this is what it's going to look like at first. It's going to look really extremely light at first, and then it'll get darker through the stages, and, and this is what it's supposed to turn out like. Oh. That's a bigger picture of it. That's what it's, uh, part of it's gonna turn out like. It doesn't show you all of it because that's where the pencils, here's where the pencils were. And all this on the back is instructions. Some of them are in foreign languages. <laughs> That teach you, yeah, I had to teach you how to shade. Shows you texture about cross hatching. What you show me Uh, or cross hatching is where you take a pencil. I bet man that knows how to cross hatch, but uh, you just take it and it goes in three different directions. And then you take it across here, and you can make this a little higher if you want. And then you bring this down like this, and that's how you cross hatch. Uh, it it is good. Uh, I'm not drawing, but this has cross hatching somewhere. Where'd you put? Would you put the cover? Uh, the yeah, the cover for that. On here, uh, I can find it. 
it's really hard to find on the dog's fur. On the dog's fur, it ha it's all caught, like down here in the darker area. Down here in the darker area of the dog. Here, it's all crosshatch. It's all, all of that's crosshatch. So, that's going to take a while. Uh, How else can you show uh, when I, most times when I shave, I, I don't go up and down, it, it, it just looks, it doesn't look right, that, I mean, it, it gets that line effect on here, I did, uh, I did some line here, but other time, most of the time, I will color like this, we're in a circle, but I'll color better, but the, but the texture in this is how it was supposed to look on the kit, so I, I did that. Circles? Yeah, the circles. Yes, I'm happy. Uh, I do the circle shading, just simple as just moving your uh, pencil in a simple circle and then continuously, and I, I I can make sure the shades are all just right, or it it wouldn't look right. I mean, it see when when you're shading, you gotta make it. If you do, you gotta make sure that if you shade a lot, you're gonna shade a lot. It's going to uh, it's going to look odd because uh you're shading see here i mishapped on the turtle shell by accident and i didn't have my eraser with me so i wasn't able to fix it and uh so that darker spot makes that shell that part of the shell just look more odd than the rest of it uh, but yeah i yes i can i don't need this can you get part of it Good thing about the kneaded erasers that you can pull off little parts to erase with. There, it's fixed. Yeah. And all you have to do is just dot, dot, dot with your uh, a few dots and see how well that fixed it up. That that's just the power of a kneaded eraser. All I did was dab it a few times. I didn't even dare wipe wipe it down. I just dotted it. Point to the one that you adjusted. This is the uh, this one. There used to be a big old black dot in the corner. Well, no, it was this one, right? Yeah, Wait, one, two, three. This one. This one was the one that I had to uh, adjust because the uh, shading in it wasn't right. Like, here. The one right behind it is also messed up. Uh, see here where it's a whole lot darker on that edge? On that line? I'll just take my kneaded eraser and even some of that out and. Uh, there you go, it's all fixed. Cool. Y'all yeah, have any questions so far? Jeremy says cool, Sandy says looks great, sweet. Aw, oh, she called you sweet. Dawn says she has no questions, but she's loving your tips. Uh, Amanda says looks great. Thank you. Uh, you want to show them another texture for filling in? With circles and cross hatches? Uh, I did my diagonal here on the seaweed. As you can see, it's a... Uh, it's a... It's just dia a diagonal line. It's not 
cross hatch nor is it the circular but uh it's diagonal uh say all right here's your piece of seaweed i am oh, wait, wait 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 back up there we go all right here's your piece of seaweed you draw your line up the middle that's what i did and then I had to uh, just shade down the side diagonally. So you doing just little bitty edges? That's all I had to do. Well, I mean, are you doing just little bitty? Are those just little bitty lines? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, all, all it is is just skinny lines. Everybody see that, or do they need it? Everybody see it? Uh, everybody see it and seeing it all right? Yes, okay. Alrighty. Alrighty. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Uh, what about doing dots? Did you do some dots somewhere? No, I didn't. Okay. I've never done dots. Okay, well, yeah, I'm sure about it. I'd like to get dots somewhere. Nope. Never done dots. Uh... Here is a uh, drawing I did with a. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm thinking. Ice. I'm thinking of what it was. Uh, crayon pastels. Uh, using similar techniques. You, yeah, using sim similar techniques. This is one that I made for Papa Grammy. Uh, oh, See, uh, on, on the, uh, sand here, I took it, and I, I just did the line technique, but, uh, that, and here is a, uh, chalk pastel one that I made for Papa also. Notice I got the little, cro uh, this one is, uh, Egypt picture, and, uh, where is it? Uh, this one's made out of chalk, chalk pastels. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's see, this way? No, no, not that way. Grandma says Papa loves it. Uh, see him in the water? I got that detailed. That's, that's actually how they look in the water. They just, uh. Because you've been to Egypt and saw that? Or what? No, oh. no. TV. Okay. Animal <laughs> Planet. Alright. <laughs> but uh that that's how they swim in the water when they're hunting. They will uh hunt they'll look on the surface, they'll just surface their eyes and a little bit of their back. But yeah. This is an animal show, but that that's the way they look. And here's another type of art, uh, called collage. It's uh this is, these are some of my favorite, favorite things I like, um, the trucks, uh, and, uh, uh, John Deere. I got my own little corner for John Deere over here. You have a stronger digit. And, uh, this, Mando was jealous of this picture, <laughs> because she cannot draw vehicles of what, whatsoever. And, uh. This is the, uh, the picture that I drew, um, the, uh, dump truck that I'm going to make into a digi eventually. Poor Amanda. Sigurd <laughs> says, poor Amanda. Oh, and this... I drew a pine, this is the pineapple that I drew, if I can find it in here, I passed it, here's the pineapple, and uh, in photography, this is a, a still life photo, it would be, this would be a still life, 
and I just saw a pineapple and I was hungry for pineapple anyway, so. Uh, and, uh, When I, I I was uh, drawing, starting to draw a turkey, and I never got to finish it. But uh, that's looking good. Yep. Uh, that's a uh, that's just my start of a turkey that I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna finish. And there was a basketball game going on and I was going to try and draw the Mavericks but I was only able to do the Miami Heat <laughs> they lost no Grammy the Heat lost uh, oh 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 here <laughs> Here's the horse, the, the attempt to draw a horse that that turned into a Komodo dragon. Hang on, let me, let me back you up just a second. Right. That, that's how a horse, that, that's, I, I started to draw a horse, but then it turned into a Komodo dragon, so. It's a cool looking dragon, though. Yes. See it, okay. Uh, yeah. I was quite surprised at how how uh, successful that turned out. I've never drawn a Komodo dragon ever before in my life. Oh my. Go. Go. Oh my. I, uh, in a minute. I, I was thinking mm -hmm. about animals and I, uh, I, I, uh, I like that one. What's that? Which one? That this, one. That's a pig. It's a pig? Yes. I like it least uh, I'm trying to show my rooster. There, uh, my rooster and my pig. I was thinking, I was thinking about a rooster at the time. I, actually, I was thinking about a farm when I drew the rooster, and I drew Grammy a, a pig. Uh, because she likes pigs, and there's an elephant I had drawn. I likes elephants too. And she likes elephants too. Everybody likes an elephant. Maybe she likes. Maybe you should make that into a DGT. And that was my that I I think that uh not near. And next to it I I was drawing a, a mini crocodile head, but it's like a shark. It's not a shark. Okay, it's a crocodile head. No, it's not a crocodile. What is it? It is the no a piranha head? Oh, wow. It turned out to be a piranha. Good job, good guess, dog. Good guess. What word? Piranha head. Sigrid said she wants you to draw a zebra. Okay, Sigrid, I'll draw a zebra. But uh, here's uh, when I was uh, Sandy is a Nelly a pig? A Nelly. Okay, uh. Uh. Ellie. What, are you talking about like a type of pig, or a... What? Oh, it's an elephant, okay. It, she, Sandy was calling it a Nelly. N-E-L-L-Y. And... And she's British, so I was asking her what that was exactly. Because sometimes a nappy is not when you take a, take a nap. Okay. It's a diaper. So, I, I'm learning to speak Fab and Sandy. Tomato? Yeah, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is the first time I tried to uh, draw. I, I was... This was when I was trying out for uh, art for next year in sixth grade. 
but I decided to do band and I got the saxophone. Okay. So yes, Amanda, that's doing perspective. Amanda says she hates perspective. I know the tree shadow rocks. I like the tree shadow. So you want to tell them what you might do for another show? Oh yeah, show them that. That's cool looking. This is a bald eagle. It. Uh, sometimes I draw cartoons. Okay, uh, I'll show you one of the cartoons I've drawn. Uh, this is a Tom, a uh, Tom, Tom and Jerry. <laughs> I like that. Mm -hmm, Jerry is the stream. Uh, anyways, uh. <laughs> uh. I bet you've been talking almost. To Ooh, show them that too. That's cool. I uh, I was bored, so I pulled this out one day, and I just drew a uh, a off road semi. And on here it says mudslinger. Thank you. Uh, wait, I still got thirty minutes. No, you don't. It's eight fifty-two. You've been talking it's an hour for thirty. No. Really? You changed it to now. No. Right. What are you doing for thirty more minutes? I was gonna show Amanda how to draw a truck. Oh, you're going to show Amanda how to draw a truck. Awesome. I think you should show Amanda how to draw a truck. <laughs> Amanda, I am going to show you how to draw a simple truck. And everybody else. And everybody else. But mainly for Amanda. Oh. Here's one I drew. Come on. Get your paper. All right. I don't know what my paper is. Sorry, I thought you were done, dude. I didn't realize you had more on your program. Um, back down. Alrighty. Really? Okay, let's put this here. Wait, where's our black thing? Where's our black thing? Yeah. Alrighty. Simple truck drawing. What is it? Uh. I'm sorry, Sandy. I, I really, I, I really thought he was done. I, let me find you something simple here. This is smaller and black. Let me stick that in the corner. There we go. Alrighty. Nope. Nobody pay attention to the ink cartridge. If it'll focus. Focus. Really? There it goes. Then we can just draw. No. <laughs> uh, uh, all I do is, is I just I'll lean this forward because I figured out it looks better if it's uh, lean. And I'm drawing a simple pickup truck. So. Uh. It just simple as that. This is what I normally draw, and I edit some of it. Like I'll draw the windows and the door handle, the door frame. And if I want it to, I can draw it. I most times I'll put uh, stacks on on my trucks. So and Will, are you using a model, or are you drawing this from your memory? I'm drawing from my memory. 
Is it a good thing when the truck smokes that kind of black? It depends on what situation you're in. Oh, okay. <laughs> is this a pulling truck? Okay, they can't see it. Uh, it, this is a pulling truck, so I can also draw, I most sometimes I'll draw the trailer, but no, it is not good for a smoke to truck, a uh, truck to smoke black, unless it's meant, to, it's built to smoke black. <laughs> this is a simple pickup, Don. Haven't you heard? Run with your brung. Grammy says nothing is simple with Will. <laughs> Whatever, Grammy. <laughs> That's true, Mando. We live in Texas. We got all kinds of pickups in Texas. You're, you're drawing off the edge. I can't see. There we go. And yeah, they got corn in Indiana. So they got trucks there too. They do tractor pulls there too. What are you building a sled? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's about the average. Uh, that well, the sled here in Stephenville has a uh, chain, two chains on it that pull the uh, a big old box with a giant cast iron pot filled with cement all the way up and if the truck does get that far far into the track you it's lucky Don says they have trucks and tractor pulls at her house but they're they're everyday simple pickup trucks not ones with stacks lot of the pickup trucks here in Stephenville that pull have stacks. They might not hear you. I was talking to you. He's mumbling to himself saying a lot of the tractor pulls here, the, tra the, the trucks have stacks. <laughs> and there's the lights. So, so it's not upside down. That is a simple pickup, or not simple, but somewhat complex. <laughs> there. Uh, so, Amanda, you, you think you can draw a truck now? Ah. Uh. I've got an animal behind me. That's a playful butt. No. Oh, wait. Wrong side. There's my cat. She's been sitting here. Uh. Got time to stop? If you want to, I'm not going to stop you now. You Carry on with your bed, so. Uh. You want to tell them what kind of stuff you might do in the future? Or ask them what they would like to see you do? Uh. What, what would y'all like to see, see me do later in a, like a month? Like in a month. Like next month. So the, these shows will. Okay. Okay, Grammy, I will entangle for y'all. That's what Sandy wants you to show. Wants to show. She thought you could do something cool. I'm oh. not bored of you, Sandy. 
No. Because <laughs> you're like, oh, okay, I'm done now. But they want to see you Zentangle. All right. Anything else? Uh, any, uh. I like some of your pencil stuff. Uh, that you do what what else pencils. do I do? What else do I do? Uh, I mm, oh some scout stuff. Uh. <laughs> See, Sandy, it's three thirty in the morning where she is. She doesn't stay up that late for everybody. No pressure, right? No. <laughs> uh, you do some really cool stuff with pencil drawings with the colored pencils with your prism colors. You do really cool rubber stamping and card making. Uh, you want to show them the card you made, Daddy? Yeah. Where is it? It's, it's not there anymore. Itch. I don't know where it is. I'll show it next time. We'll show it next time. Okay. Yep, and markers. Grandma says you do stuff with markers. Yes, I do do stuff with markers. How to blend using the markers. Using the markers? Uh, By blend, is she meaning putting two different colors together? Or blend with the colored pencils. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Harry says you also do clay. Yes, I do do clay. I will eventually. I'll, I'll show. I'll make a clay thing and show it next month. Oh, yeah. Watercolors. Yes, I do watercolor. I have. Yeah, you can show them all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and your photography. Oh, and he's got some really cool pictures that he took just like last month of some architecture and stuff that would be very cool to share. We'll work on getting pictures where you can do in your woodworking. You do woodworking, that's true. I do. I, ooh, you're a crafty kind of kid. Hang on. I'll be right back. Oh, hang on. I'm Definitely. moving. Poor cat. Almost flew off the back of the chair. Here's something recent I did for my little sister. Thank you, Grammy, for reminding me about my woodworking. This is what I did for her in her corner. In, in the living room. I did this for her. I, I had to burn a hole through the wood. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to get the wire through there. So it'll hang up. You know, we could have used a drill to make holes. It's a wheel. <laughs> it needs a hole anyways. It needs a block spot on there anyways. But uh, it, it just hangs in the corner. So, Grammy, next time you come, you'll be able to see it. <laughs> True, Don. <laughs> I guess we have to realize the full functionality of... Uh, I will. Of what the uh, wood burner will do. I couldn't find a drill, nor did I want to find one. It'd be in your woodworking box. So, okay. Anything else? Uh, that... Let me see. Uh, uh, oh. I will find, I will look. Where are you going now? This is something, so. this is a, a purse I made for my mom for Christmas. I sewed it myself. You want the inside too? And I even made her a matching uh, purse organizer. I took the step out of it today. Let me see if I can control it. It, it, this one's cheetah print 
and the uh, parcel zebra print. It's got several little pockets to put her, uh, like her, uh, camera, phone, pencils, pencils, uh, pens, miscellaneous stuff. Like here, the, like these three right here are for like pins and stuff. Mama and carries a lot of pins. yes, Mama does carry a lot of pins. Uh, it's very handy, Don. Very. So, it, is it? Aren't we taking care of the, their food? Uh, I can make that one. So, uh. Uh, uh, Sigrid, do I ha do I have to Skype with you so you can learn how to sew? You could do sewing on on the thing. We could set it up here on the web. Yeah. <laughs> Will could teach all to sew because really you only need to know how to go forwards and backwards. Not all the time. Uh, You're going to sewing camp in a couple of weeks. Yes, I am. Uh, what else? Uh, I can prepare a small dinner for us to show on here. <laughs> well, maybe not dinner, but you could show them how to Snack. do the truffles. Yeah, that's true. Um, Your award-winning truffles. I got best to show with uh, my Oreo truffles. Anything else? Wait. Best of show and money. Yes, <laughs> money. Lots and lots of money. <clears throat> yeah, I think so too, Sandy. Yes, Sigrid, he, he did the Oreo cream cheese truffles. Hey, Nelly. It's the end of Will's show. He's almost done, but he recorded it. Who's Nelly? Someone just came in and says, hey, all. Her name was Nelly Tot. Who's Nelly? I don't know. Her name is Nelly Tot. Might be a friend of Sandy's or someone Sandy. It may be Sandy's mom. Or Sandy's daughter. Ah, uh, Sandy is, or... Nellie is Sandy's baby girl. Okay. Ah, we should sing happy birthday. Sing happy birthday. You want to sing happy birthday? Sure. Sing a happy birthday? I guess. Okay. Let's do it. Happy birthday, Nellie. I'm ready to sing. Yeah, I have to sing. Yeah. Look. Happy birthday, Nellie. Okay. Thank everybody for coming. Alright. Uh, thank y'all for coming. I'll see y'all next month. Well, we'll advertise the time. We'll advertise the time. Did you have fun? Tell me you had fun. I had fun. Uh. Bye. Bye.